to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to crochet these star coasters. The pattern is also available for purchase on my Etsy. Um, I will put the link in the description. You will need a 5mm crochet hook, scissors, and a tapestry needle. And of course, yarn. So we're going to make a magic ring. Hold your yarn like this on your hand. Hold it taunt with your finger and hold it with your middle finger like this. You're going to have two fingers. You're going to hold it taunt and then you're going to loop around two times. And loop around one around your finger and then you're going to make an X like this. And then loop around again. Usually hold it like that. And now with our hook, we're going to go under this yarn and grab the second yarn and pull it through like this and then we're gonna twist like that and then with the same yarn you pulled you're gonna go back and grab it again and pull it through the loop like that and then you're just gonna tighten it and that's your magic ring or magic circle you could say it two ways and then I'm going to chain two, to chain two, yarn over, pull through the loop once, that's a chain, and then we're going to do one more, so make it two. Now we're going to do a double crochet into the circle. Yarn over, go through the circle, go through this circle, pull through, now you have three loops on your hook. I'm gonna yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, and pull through two loops. And that's a double crochet. So now we're gonna do a total of 13 more double crochet into the circle. And our total stitch count at the end will equal to 15 stitches. We will also include the chain two in our count. So now that we have 15 stitches in total, we're going to pull this string. This taunt right here. And this is the string from the beginning, and we're just going to pull it closed. Just like that. Now we're going to slip stitch into that chain 2, so right here. And it slip stitch, you just go through that, yarn over, and pull through like that. Chain two, one, and two. You do a double crochet into that same stitch, so yarn over into that chain two that we slip stitched at. We're going to double crochet into the same stitch. We're going to move this, this stitch out of the way because it can hide the next stitch that's right here. And then we're going to increase. So yarn over. Go through that next stitch. And to increase, we do it twice. In the same stitch, double crochet. And that's how you increase. So we're going to do that all around until we reach the last stitch. So now that we increased a total of 15 times, we should have 30. And to be sure that you have 30, you can start counting from this stitch all the way back. And remembering that the chain 2 counts as a stitch. So 1, Now we're going to slip stitch into the chain two, slip stitch, chain one, and a half double crochet into the same stitch right here. To half double crochet, you're going to yarn over just like in double crochet. You're going to go through your chain two, pull through, you have three um, loops on your hook, and go through all three. 
yarn over, pull through all three. Just like that. That's a half double crochet. Now we're doing a double crochet and make sure to pull this back so you can see the stitch right here. Now we're going to do a double crochet. We're going to yarn over, go through the first stitch, double crochet. One, two. Then next to treble. So to treble, but just like in double crochet, yarn over. And then for a treble, you can do it one more time. Yarn over. Just like that. So you're going to have three loops on your hook. And then in that stitch, we're going to go like this. So now you should have a total of four loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that's a treble. Chain one. In the same stitch, we're going to treble one more time. So one and two, total of three on my hook. In the same stitch, pull through. We should have four loops. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet, half double crochet. Do a slip stitch into the next stitch. Slip stitch. Just like that. So it should look like this so far. And this is one point of the star. Okay, we're gonna do the next point together. So we're gonna half double crochet into the next stitch. So yarn over. Go to the next stitch, half double crochet, double crochet in the next stitch, double crochet, treble, one and two, go through that stitch, pull through two, pull through two, through two, chain one, treble again into the same stitch. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and then double crochet into the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, and then half double crochet into the next stitch, and then slip stitch to end off that point. So we're going to do a total of five points. So we just did a, uh, our last slip stitch of the row. We're going to slip stitch one more time into that half double crochet. To end the row. This is how it should look so far. But we have one more row to make it look like the star. Okay, so we chain one. To sing we're going to do a single crochet. So we're just going to not yarn over at all and we're just going to go straight into that stitch and pull through our loop. So we should have two loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two. And that's a single crochet. So now we're going to do it one more time. Single crochet, go through our stitch, pull through, and then pull through two. And that's a single crochet. And then we're going to increase. So one single crochet, two single crochet, and the same stitch. This chain one space, we're going to single crochet into that space. So we're going to go through that space and then single crochet, chain one, single crochet in the same space. And the next stitch would be right here. So we're going to single crochet increase, so one and two, and then single crochet in the next two stitches. And then we're going to slip stitch. So we're actually going to slip stitch right below our next stitch, so right here. So we're going to insert our insert our hook and pull through and then slip stitch like that 
and we're going to single crochet in the next two stitches and then increase single crochet and then single crochet in the chain one space chain one single crochet and then we're just going to continue this pattern all the way around so I just finished the last star point so now I'm going to slip stitch again to end the row so I'm just going to slip stitch into that the beginning of our first stitch from the row to fasten off you're going to chain one two and then cut a long enough string to weave in our ends Pull through like that and tighten. So I'm going to tighten that magic circle closed again just because it can loosen up while we're working on our project. So I'm just going to and I like to make sure that this stays closed so I just kind of going through one of the stitches it doesn't matter go through that and then just make a knot like that so just so I can be sure it doesn't loosen again and then I'm gonna weave in my ends so that just basically means to hide your um, strings so you can just go through like the stitches like in between the stitches like that and then cut that off It's so pretty. It came out so cute. Please subscribe, like, and share my channel. I appreciate everyone's support. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.